What is going on, everybody? It's your Observant Lineman here, Uche Waneri, and we've got an update on the Henry Ruggs situation. Uh, as you know, Henry Ruggs yesterday did something very stupid and decided to uh, drink and drive, which led to him ultimately getting into a car accident, which caused the death of one female individual. Now, we found out more details today in regards to that crash, and not good. Not good at all. Henry Ruggs was traveling 156 miles per hour. With the blood alcohol level of 0.161, more than double the limit. Wow. Unbelievably sad. An unbelievably stupid decision by Henry Ruggs. Uh, but we'll go through this article here. It's from TMZ. It says, uh, Ruggs was traveling 156 miles an hour seconds before Tuesday's crash, slamming into the back of a Toyota at 127 MPH with a blood alcohol level twice the legal limit, killing a 23-year-old woman, officials say. Ruggs appeared in court this morning for the first time with a gash on his face, wearing a neck brace to answer charges he caused the fatal uh, car wreck in Las Vegas. Uh, now, this is, and before I play this video, I just want to basically give you a trigger warning. Uh, this is footage from uh, the aftermath of this car accident. So, for those of you who uh, are easily disturbed by images, uh, just giving you a fair warning now. Uh, but here is video from the crash. Now, there aren't even police on scene yet, as you can tell. And you can see rugs on the ground, sitting on the pavement there. Uh, and it looks like a passerby uh, has has come to try and help and render aid where they can. But, I mean, look at this. I mean, I mean this, is un this is unreal. Like, why? It's so senseless. This is fucking senseless. So there you have it, footage of the accident. Uh, this is, uh, I mean, this is disturbing, obviously. This is disturbing. And, uh, you know, condolences to the family of the woman who passed away. Uh, you know, it, uh, going 156 miles an hour into the back of another vehicle. One can only hope that this was an instantaneous death and, you know, she didn't feel any pain. But let's continue on here. The details are disturbing. Officials in new documents obtained by TMZ Sports say they examined the computer in Ruggs' car and determined he was going incredibly fast just moments before he plowed into the Toyota. Uh, law enforcement said in the docs he was only able to slow to 127 at the time of impact. I mean... Swerve out of the way. I mean, I guess it's hard to do that when you're uh, under the influence. But get out of that. I mean, if you're going to hurt somebody, just hurt yourself. You know, take a, a light pole out or something. But get the hell out of the way of, I mean, move out of the way of these people who are just going on about their lives, right? I mean, what the fuck? Officials say both Ruggs car and the Toyota, and the Toyota rolled over 500 feet after the initial impact where the RAV where the RAV4 caught on fire. Ooh. In addition to the 23-year-old woman who perished, she also had a dog in the car that died. Officers say Ruggs, who appeared to be impaired at the scene, refused to participate in the field sobriety test before he was eventually transported to a hospital. Police say during an investigation following the crash, they located a gun in Ruggs' Corvette. Officials added 
at Ruggs hearing that blood work revealed the player had a blood alcohol level one point one six one, uh, more than two times the legal limit. Ruggs injuries are unknown at this time. The police say the wounds were serious in documents. His mugshot shows the gash on his face was deep. Uh, Ruggs was charged with DUI resulting in substantial bodily harm and reckless driving. His bail was set at 150000 uh, The judge banned Ruggs from consuming alcohol, also ordered him to abstain from driving. Uh, he also must wear an electronic monitoring device as part of his bail. At the hearing, the judge noted he'd never seen a case where the defendant was traveling at such a high rate of speed. And, you know, the, the thing about it is when just the, 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 the rate of speed he was going at, as fast as he was going, that is something that's telling to uh, judges and to juries, which he will be facing eventually uh, once uh, a court date is set uh, for him to go to trial. But that plays into, into, into a lot of decision making because that's just a blatant disregard for the environment around you to be going that fast on a, you know, on a main, on a street, you're not even on the interstate. It's not even like you're, you know, it's free flowing interstate traffic or interstate uh, setting where you can, you know, go without worrying about coming up on street lights and stuff like that. Uh, we're talking about a situation where this guy's on a main road, just going 150 miles an hour, 160 miles an hour. Uh, but you know, this is uh, obviously tragic, obviously tragic. And there is going to be uh, much more fallout from this for him. I mean, first off, he's been released by the Las Vegas Raiders. He's no longer a part of the team. And on top of that, we have here uh, more about him and his uh, you know, short-lived Raiders career as the Raiders have pulled merchandise from stores after fatal DUI. Stores selling Las Vegas Raiders merchandise are yanking Henry, Henry Ruggs items from their shelves with several outlets already removing the receiver's jersey, shirts, and memorabilia after his fatal DUI accident. TMZ spoke with an employee uh, at the locker room by Lids in Vegas, who told us they were given direct orders to cease all sales of rug-related merch just hours after the tragic incident. Uh, the Raider Image, the team's official online store, uh, has completely scrubbed rugs from its site, and a search for rugs or Henry Ruggs III come back, comes back with zero results, as you can see here. Got a pick from the website. Uh, to compare, a search for rugs backup, Brian Edwards shows his jersey available for purchase. We also spoke with another local shop that sells Raiders merch. And while they while they say they haven't been told to pull rugs items just yet, we're told it's just a matter of time. Uh, so there is clearly, you know, they're they're wiping this dude. He's he's done. Cause you know, this is not something that it's not something that anybody really sees him coming back from. So for for what's going on with uh, Henry Ruggs the third, he's going to have to face that with whatever resources he has at this point. And there's, you know, obviously his NFL career has come to a complete end. Uh, and what a shame. What a shame because of one really stupid decision uh, to drink and drive. Now you have ruined not only your own life and career, you have killed someone and ruined that person's family's uh, life and cr created a whole uh, assortment of pain and 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 grieving that they're going to have to go through uh, to move to move just to move on and in their lives now. But it'll never be the same for two groups of people because of one person's dumb decision. Uh, so you know that's pretty much where we're at with uh, Henry Ruggs III. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the Observer Lime and Uche Winery. Appreciate you guys very, very much for checking out this video, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.